السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہوپ یو آل آر فائن دس از یور اسلامیات پیریڈ پلیز اوپن یور بکس اسٹوڈینٹس پلیز سی دا کانٹینٹس ان لاسٹ ویک وی ڈیڈ لیسن نمبر ون دا میننگس آف لا الہ الا اللہ اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ڈو اوور لیسن نمبر ٹو توحید واننیس آف اللہ ان دس یونٹ دا اسلامک بلیف آئی ہیو چوزن دیز ٹو لیسنس فار یو right please open page number 15 and lesson number 2 of unit number 1 islamic beliefs al aqida tawhid and what is tawhid oneness of allah students allah taala himself says in quran and your god is one god and there is no god except he the most beneficent the most merciful so if somebody will ask you the question and that what is tawhid so how will you explain in one line in one sentence tawhid means believing in allah alone as god and lord and describing him as one being and unique with no partner with no peer with no companion right so what is our aqida that allah is wahid and what is the meaning of wahid it means that he has no rivals he has no peers he has nobody partner in his creation okay students tawhid is the basic belief of islam okay and it is included in shahada that every muslim has to declare on becoming muslim it is that there is no god but allah and muhammad peace be upon him is his prophet so we are going to start reading our lesson please keep your pencils in your hands to underline the hard words tawhid means declaring something to be one tawhid means declaring something to be one or oneness of allah making it into one or unifying underline the word unifying unifying means to become a single unit okay uh, to unify of the whole creation mankind or humanity so tawhid means oneness of allah declaring something to be one In Islam tawhid means confirming the unity of Allah or professing underline the word professing professing mean declaring belief in the oneness of Allah as in the sentence la ilaha illallah so in Islam if somebody will ask in Islam what is tawhid then the simple answer is that declaration la ilaha illallah is our tawhid that there is no god except Allah we believe only oneness of allah so tawhid is the foremost belief in the islam as i have told you that this is the basic belief and the pillar and the and among the pillars of islam tawhid has three aspects and what are they they are very important listen them carefully and attentively unity in the lordship of allah what does it mean the unity in the lordship of allah it means the rank or dignity of a lord the authority or power of lord okay or through this we can understand that it is allah who alone created the universe okay the power is all related to him through this we understand that it is allah who controls the universe and allows things to happen everything which is happening with us around us in the universe or in our lives that is all by allah allah is the only uh lord who is dealing with all the things happening in this universe second thing unity in the worship of allah students it is most important aspect why because it is that we learn how to worship our creator alone 
Do you worship any other god other than Allah? Definitely not. We never, we cannot worship any other body other than Allah. Allah is not the kind of God who does not respond or hear our calls. Whenever we go haram or whenever we offer prayer or whenever we ask something in our uh, prayers, we have firm belief in, in, in very inner uh, self that Allah is hearing and He is responding and giving us and the answers of our prayers. So, the worship, Allah is the only Lord who is uh, worthy enough to be worshipped. Okay? Third is unity in the names and attributes of Allah. Students, attributes, underline the word attributes. It means characteristics or features or qualities. So, Allah is the only uh, one. Uh, you can say it, it is also known as uh, Tawheed Al-Asma Wa Sifat. Yani this category of Tawheed helps us to understand who our creator is through his names. When we say Ar-Rahman, we really means it that uh, Allah is the only merciful. When we say Ar-Razaq, we mean through this name that Allah is the only Lord who is giving us uh, food. Right? So, it is very important to understand the worth of these aspects. Okay, so Muslims must know Tawheed and Muslims must believe in Tawheed. Muslims must act upon Tawheed. Muslims must follow the Sunnah of our Prophet, peace be upon him, to practice Tawheed. You know, from where we can get the uh, true essence of Tawheed? From the Sunnah of our Holy Prophet, peace be upon him. So students, do you think that without Tawheed, our belief or our Islam is completed? Definitely not. Without understanding the true meanings or the true essence of Tawheed, we cannot be a good Muslim. Students, here are the words meaning of this lesson. Unifying means to become a single unit. Professing means declaring. Attributes means characteristics or features or qualities. Lordship means supreme power. Students, your homework is that you ought to read your lesson twice a time and you should learn and write these words meanings in your neat copies. Inshallah, we will meet in our next class. Till then, goodbye.